as the search for the missing teenager Jay Slater, who was 19 who went missing in Tenerife, comes to a close. We take a look at the numbers, the dates, the times involved, and understand what they mean in numerology, and whether any clues were given, surrounding the disappearance of Jay Slater. Now I appreciate this video isn't going to be for everybody, and for everybody's taste and liking, but stay with me till the end to find out what the link is between Gaynor Lord, Nicola Bully and Jay Slater. Before I go any further in this video, I'd just like to make it quite clear. I don't hold any Freemasons accountable or responsible for what's gone on with regards to the Jay Slater case. But what I am going to try and explain is maybe the involvement afterwards, which could explain the media hype surrounding the disappearance of this teenager, and why many other teenagers that go missing every year are not covered by the media or publicised so much, and could explain the involvement of fellow Mason, Mark Williams Thomas. Certain numbers reappear in this case time and time again, and correspond and relate to the energy that they represent. These numbers are 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 and 33. In most cases you are given more details regarding the person, such as their date of birth. This would give us an insight and a background into the person's personality and the traits that they hold. So we are going to have to decode the messages given to us in this case. Moving on to the date we were told that Jay Slater disappeared. We were given the date of the 17th of the 6th, 2024. 17 is 1 plus 7 equals 8, giving us an 8 day and an 8 day energy number. For those of you who are unaware and new to the channel and not subscribers, you won't know this knowledge, but other people may. 8 is the number of karma, but it's also the number of money. This was also in June, which is the 6th month and the number 6 represents home and family, and it was in the year of 2024, which added together equals 8, going back to the number of karma and money. The Chinese are aware that the number 8 represents money, and brings money into your life, which is why they organised and opened the Summer Olympics on the 8th of the 8th at 8 minutes past 8 in the evening. Next we move on to the friend of Joe Slater, Lucy May who said that she called him at around 8 o'clock in the morning. Yet again, the number 8 comes up again. As shown in the picture, we can see that the search and rescue team were launched at 9 o'clock in the morning. Number 9 is the number of beginning and endings, which is why Lucy May Law said she called the police on 911. Number 9 is the number of beginning and endings, and 11 is the number of emotion. In fact, the real number she should have called is 112, which if we add that together, equals four, which is the number of law and order. May Law has told us that she received a phone call from him saying that his battery was running out, he was down to 1%. Lucy May Law also said that she spoke to Jay on the phone and that he said that his battery was on 1%. Yet was this a signal and a message to the elites and the people in the higher powers above for assistance or help with regards to the situation she'd found herself in and what had happened to Jay? as the only reference to them is the 1%. Lucy could have also been told to say 1% battery, not knowing the information she was telling and relaying. She could have been told this message by the media or higher people above, not knowing the message she was translating. At this point, everything seems a little bit far-fetched, and the details I'm telling you are quite hard to understand. But as we delve further into the video and digress, everything else becomes crystal clear. Lucy could have also been told to say 1% battery, not knowing the information she was telling and relaying. She could have been told this message by the media or higher people above, not knowing the message she was translating. From the timeline that we are given regarding the case of Jay Slater and his disappearance, the number 8 for money and the number 6 for home and family continues to reappear. This is shown in the timeline when at 6am in the morning, there was a fresh sighting of Jay Slater reportedly. Another example of the number six in this case is the 24 hours notice that Mark Williams Thomas said that he needed to find Jay Slater. Also, Jay Slater's brother Zach is also aged 24. Two and four equals six, the number of home and family, which yet again shows itself as a prominent number. There is also the number three, 
which is embedded in this case, that reappears on several occasions, such as the £30,000 from the GoFundMe, and also the 30th of June, for which the whole search was called off for Jay Slater. There is the number of communication, which is why, on three days, this is when you find people will communicate most of all. This is also a good day to heal bridges. It wasn't until Mark Williams Thomas, a well-known Freemason, that the number 33 started appearing in the Jay Slater case. With his claim of finding Jay Slater within three days and also speaking to a third party. With the search being brought to a close on June the 30th and also 30 police officers. Whenever it comes to cases like this that are surrounded in mystery and mystique. You will find these three prominent numbers in the case. These are 13, the number of the Freemason. 23 the number of initiation and introduction, and a ninth prime number. And also the number 33, the Grandmaster number. The number 13, which is the Mason's number, is shown three times in the case in Jay Slater. His father Warren, who is 58, is 5 and 8 equals 13. There was also the phone call that Lucy Law said that she received from Jay Slater at 8.50, and 8 and 5 equals 13. Not only that, but to top it off, the search for Jay Slater lasted just 13 days. This is not the first unusual circumstances surrounding the disappearance of somebody and also from Lancashire. Many will be familiar with the case of the Nicola Bully, the woman that went missing only to be found three weeks later in the river. And also Gaynor Lord, who also went missing on an eight day. And this is the part where things start to get beyond coincidental and very creepy. Many of you will also be familiar with the missing woman Nicola Bully, who went missing only to be discovered in a river three weeks later. She was also from Lancashire, the same area as missing Jay Slater. And like Jay Slater, she had a friend who set up a GoFundMe. This was in the aim and the target of reaching £100,000 to help fund the search, when it cost nothing. The number that stuck out in this case and was prominent was the number that was written on the back of the bench next to the river when Nicola Bully went missing. This number was 23, the initiation number and the ninth prime number of the Freemasons. Following on to the next case is Gaynor Lord, who in similar circumstances also went missing in a river. The number that was also prominent in that case and was shown on the number plate of the police car, which was very peculiar and unusual, for a picture regarding to a crime scene and a missing woman. The number was 23 on the number plate. And if you wonder where the number 23 is in the Jay Slater case, they showed you in plain sight. And like the two previous cases we have just discussed and covered, this was shown at the very end, and they couldn't have shown you any clearer. It was 23 degrees, as in... 23rd degree Freemasonry. With 2024 being an H year and a year of karma and money, I can't help but feel that Jay Slater met his karma for his previous machete attack. And maybe the fact that there are Masons involved is the reason that he got off lightly with just an 18 month rehabilitation. But on the opposite side of the coin and the yin and the yang, I can't help feel that there's been others that have profited from this situation. This would explain the GoFundMe, because GoFundMe has eight letters, the same as Tenerife. Now I'm not suggesting by any means that Jay Slater was a Freemason, but we don't know if he had a family member that was, or maybe Lucy May Law did, which would explain how this has been covered up. And despite thousands of people going missing every year, we're able to get on TV and push a narrative to raise some money. And for an added bonus, I called back in December 2023 that the elections in 2024 of the UK elections and the US ones would be won by dragons. 2024 is a dragon year. Strangely enough, these two candidates weren't even considered or even thought about running. The UK one is Nigel Farage, born 1964, Year of the Dragon. And the US one will be the ex-president Barack Obama's wife, Michelle Obama, who is also a dragon born 1964. Consider smashing the subscribe button and being part of the family. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up like button too.
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.